Hi, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up our 10x Stronger local SEO system on your website in just a few minutes. First, we can download the plugin. So we just click the download button here. You can download the free version here and download now. So that downloads it. Next, we can go into our control panel here and go to the plugins, add new screen. Now here's where we upload the plugin we just downloaded. So here we go. I can install now. Now I can activate the plugin and that's going to take me to the best local SEO tool settings screen. And here we are. Now if we just work our way through this one page, we're going to have great local SEO. First, it's asking for my premium API key. I can go to the My Account section on Best Local SEO Tools to get that. So there's where the API keys are. And this account already has that set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put in my information here. And as you can see, we've already done that. So what kind of business are you? Put in the city, location, where you're at, radius served largest nearby city, your search terms, and whether to make a local portfolio. Now the local portfolio is really powerful for helping you to rank locally. So usually for your main search term, that's what you're going to want to uh, make the local portfolio for. And then you can also set the percent of your business that each term is to. Local portfolio is turned on. Uh, you can add an option or choose here if you want to use it as a regular portfolio as well. And then you can choose whether to use the automatic optimizer. Now, if you just save your settings here, your website's going to get automatically optimized and you're going to get the local portfolio system set up. Then all you have to do is fill out 10 to 20 projects here. And you can take a look at what that looks like. And you're going to have great local SEO. This is the system that makes websites rank for pretty much every city they serve. So this is the... Uh, Add a project page, you can put in your project title here, so local web design project, and then you can click here to add in media. If you want to add pictures, you can put the text in here. This was a great project. Now you really want to, if you read these instructions, you can see that longer is better in terms of uh, rankings. And here you're going to put in the city, like uh, this, put in the state. You can put in the testimonial here, and then choose your service and hit publish. Now why don't we go take a look at the local portfolio that has been set up here for us. So now down at the bottom, the system's going to add a bunch of links into the local portfolio here so clients can see who you worked with near them. If you go into uh, Ackworth, for instance, here, we can see you know, what it looks like on the inside. It's got just a bunch of clients, and this is the system that ranks really well. Uh, okay, we'll close that here. Go into the Reputation Builder next. So what I like about the Reputation Builder is you get a lot of quick URLs that can really make it extra convenient for you to request feedback from your customers or get reviews. Um, and this feedback, when they fill out the form on your website, which is it, your website, it's like at yourdomain.com slash feedback. So you can also mention that to clients when they have an issue or just put it on a sign at your shop, whatever, to get feedback. They can come and fill out this form. And then this is just going to go ahead and when they send it, it's going to uh, send to you here and then you can add it into your local portfolio. You get some other nice URLs too, like uh, the ad project. URL, so if your people in the field just want to add a project of work they've done to help out your local portfolio, they can just go to yourdomain.com or whatever and slash add feedback and put that in. Forward slash get reviews is where you can go and request reviews in the premium versions. You can then just put in a bunch of emails and phone numbers or one at a time as you work with clients, and that's going to send them a text message and an email in the premium versions to make it really easy and convenient for your customers to leave you reviews. Finally, if you've got a client who wants to give you a review, but it's hard to get those URLs sometimes, especially for Google, you can just mention, you know, like yourdomain.com slash review that they can go there and leave you a review, and that's going to direct them right to your review. 
Now, usually at this feedback form, it's going to prompt them to click links to go and, you know, leave you reviews if they give you like four stars or higher. If they give you two stars, it's just like, thanks for your feedback. Um, so you need to set up the websites, which is done here. So you set up, you know, the site name and the site URL, and you can, you know, see we've done it for Google+, Yelp, Facebook. And uh, there's a couple other options here for setting up the reputation builder. There's turbo mode, which instead of filtering their feedback first and then prompting them for the review, just directly prompts them for the review. So if you have cappy customers and you just want to, you know, mention, send them a text, you know, with your review link on it, you can go ahead and switch this on to use that that way. If you have multiple locations, you can also, you know, switch that on for uh, getting reports by location, kind of, to see how your stores or whatever are performing. There's more options here. Um, now, after you do that, there's the Get Reviews link, and that is going to take you right over to here, which is what I mentioned before. You just fill out, you know, phone numbers, whatever, and you can go ahead and get uh, instantly request feedback and reviews. Here's the Maps Booster settings where you can put in your business information. When you do that, that's going to help you to uh, get schema code right into the bottom of your website, which helps uh, here it is, which helps the search engines to know about your business and to rank you properly, and to also fill out those information cards. Just close this back down. The Automatic Optimizer has some different settings that you can set as well for small local businesses. It's really configured to do amazingly well just with the default settings. You can get content suggestions if you filled that out for keywords to make content about. And then here's just a little paragraph of professional tips about what you can do um, ongoing to you know further help your website to rank higher with getting backlinks and things like that. Finally, there's the Post Rankings Booster which has a few settings. What this is, is in the Appearance Widgets screen here, you can add in a, uh, a featured post widget. Uh, this is really only if you just have a lot of blog posts, you're probably going to want to do this onto your site. And if you have a lot of posts, it's going to direct links to your most popular posts that are driving the most traffic to help them get even more traffic. Um, and that's that. So that's the system. It's very easy to set up. It's very easy to use. And that's how easy it is to set up best local SEO tools to start easily getting great rankings. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for checking us out.